we're going to be talking about Nancy Pelosi and... <sighs> Yes. As Dave, if he, if he was here, he would say, you know, that guy in the White House. I know, right? He really was. But Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi made an announcement that a lot of Americans were waiting to hear. Take a look and listen to this. The actions taken to date by the president have seriously violated the Constitution, especially when the president says, Article 2 says I can do whatever I want. For the past several months, we have been investigating in our committees and litigating in the courts so the House can gather all the relevant facts and consider whether to exercise its full Article I powers, including a constitutional power of the utmost gravity, approval of articles of impeachment. The actions of the Trump presidency revealed the dishonorable fact of the president's betrayal of his oath of office, betrayal of our national security, and betrayal of the integrity of our elections. Therefore, today, I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. I'm directing our six committees to proceed with their investigations under that umbrella of impeachment inquiry. The president must be held accountable. No one is above the law. So after the announcement, Trump released a transcript with the Ukrainian president, and it reads as such. The president. I would like you to do us a favor, though, because our country has been through a lot and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say CrowdStrike, I guess you have one of your wealthy people. The server, they say, Ukraine has it. There are a lot of things that went on, the whole situation. I think you're surrounding yourself with some of the same people. I would like to have the attorney general call you or your people and I would like to get to the bottom of it. As you saw yesterday, that whole nonsense ended in a very poor performance by a man named <laughs> Robert M Mueller, and an incompetent performance. But they say a lot of it started with Ukraine. Whatever you can do, it's very important that you do it, if that's possible. Hmm. Wow. So it seems to me like he's trying to undermine exactly what Ms. Pelosi said, uh, right. undermine the US government already, and go you know, kind of behind their backs. And the Mueller report came out already. Yes, I see. And now he, here he is on the phone with the president of Ukraine. Right. And not only is he just making fun of Robert Mueller, but he's undermining what was already stated there and having a different government do their own research. As if he doesn't trust his own government, which is right, funny. Right, basically. So, um, I, I, this, when does it end? This is like a, it's like a clown show, you know what I mean? It's... Like it's just going back and forth. Mm. Clown. Clown buffoonery. But yeah, I noticed that the president, he was saying, saying that Ukraine been through a lot and stuff like that. So, which is true. Like, Ukraine really been through a lot. Like, it wasn't easy for them and stuff like that. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I, this, uh, this is giving me a headache. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm I, four years, four years of you getting impeached, four years of you doing uh, crap like this. Oh, excuse my language. Like, when is it going <laughs> to stop? When is it going to stop, huh? When, when? All right, so...